Since the return to democratic rule in 1999, Nigerian women have tried to break into the political scene by contesting several elective positions. Unfortunately, women are yet to occupy 15% of all the elective positions in the country. Nevertheless, female politicians in Nigeria are not giving up hope. This conference by the United Nations Women in Politics and the Inter-Party Advisory Council in Abuja is organized to campaign for more female representation in Nigeria's politics, especially as the 2019 general elections approach. Participants highlight the challenges faced by female politicians in the country while calling for an open political space. Most times we talk about our challenges as women. We look at finance and the others, and we seem to shy away from the major problem, and that is the internal party democracy. Because it's without, without internal uh, party democracy in the political parties, you will have issues of imposition, you will have uh, issues of godfatherism, you will have uh, issues of uh, abstract uh, disqualification of women. We are also aware that the reality of the Nigeria situation is, 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 is a cause for concern. And unfortunately, this undermines Nigeria's standard-setting role as the leader in this region. Women represent about 49% of Nigeria's estimated 193 million population, but this numerical strength has not worked in favor of women when it comes to the structure of national politics. For instance, only one female presidential candidate participated in the 2015 general elections. Also, out of the 109 senators in the 8th Assembly, only 7 are women and 23 in the House of Representatives out of the 469 members, a situation that this group wants to change. Women have a lot to contribute to the prosperity of every community. So, to encourage growth and rapid development, it is necessary that we support women's full participation in the economic, social, and political life. The entire strength of IPAC with 91 political parties in Nigeria should be brought into this um, um, process so that we can have a change in narrative. 87 female candidates contested for governorship positions in 2015, but none of them won. This group is advocating a change of the political composition in 2019 with more women in elective positions if female politicians are supported by their political parties.